poems. It is another day at Playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mademoiselle. Uh, um, purple woolly socks are mittens for my feet. When the days are cold, they keep in all the heat. That, children, was a poem about woolly socks. Oh, what about woolly socks? A poem is a magical way of using words that puts a picture in your mind. A picture of woolly socks? Not just woolly socks. A poem can be about anything. A lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. And woolly socks. <laughs> uh, yes. And sometimes the words in a poem rhyme. Like feet and heat. Or cat and mat. Or dog and dog. No, Danny. That is not a rhyme. That is the same word. Oh, yes. Madame Gazelle. I can't think of any words. If you can't think of words, you can use sounds instead. Listen to the wind. It goes, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. <laughs> ah -ho, playtime, children. <laughs> Look for something we can make a poem about. <laughs> What can we make a poem about? A little bird. Little bird. Birdie bird. You are very birdie. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Peppa. What about the swing? <laughs> swing, swing. Swingy thing. Swingy thingy swing thing. <laughs> Making up poems is easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> ah, oh. It is raining. Oh dear, I must get the big umbrella. Splash, splash, splash. This is fun. Gather round, children. I have the big umbrella. The big umbrella. That is a big umbrella. Listen to the rain on the umbrella. It goes pitter patter, pitter patter. Now it sounds like. <laughs> Back to school, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, can we do a poem about the rain? What a good idea, Molly. Let's think of words that remind us of the rain. Uh, rain? Yes, Susie. Rain is rain. But what other words does rain make you think of? It's very splishy. And splashy. <laughs> and it sounds like pitter-patter, pitter-patter. And... Shh. Yes, those are all wonderful rainy words. And how does the rain make you feel? Wet. <laughs> yes, Danny? Anything else? It makes me feel tickly and wriggly. It makes me want to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Put it all together and we can make a poem. Hooray! It is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children. Hello! Today the children have been making up a poem. Would you like to hear it? Yes! Yay! The poem is called Rain. Drip, drip, drip. Drop, drop, drop. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. It is a rainstorm. Wet trickle wriggles. Making lots of puddles. Very good to jump in. Splish, splash, splosh, splish. Bravo. <laughs> Grown-ups love poems. Everybody loves poems. Santa's Grotto. It is Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hands up who wants to go and see Father Christmas. Me, me. To the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas fair. Peppa and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa's grotto. <laughs> Susie, what 
What are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Yeah. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes. Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a Toy train? A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father <laughs> Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Pepper. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Pepper and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive happy cheer. Carol singers. Always falling gently Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. Horsey Twinkle Toes. Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. I saw. George, you must stay on your side of the bedroom. That's your side, and this is my side. <laughs> Do not cross the invisible line. Post! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr Zebra. Hello, Daddy Pig. I've got some letters for you. Is there anything for me and George? <laughs> hmm. I'm afraid not. They're all for Mummy and me. Oh. There's a parcel as well. Probably that box of reinforced concrete I ordered. Look at all the stamps on it. That's because it's from a long way away. Bye now. Bye-bye. Oh, the label says it is for Pepper and George. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh. There's a letter, too. Dear Pepper and George, here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dottie. Auntie Dottie lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Horsey, Twinkle Toes. Horsey, Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not horsey. And now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go! Go! Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> horsey, horsey! George! She's called Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! <sniffs> I know! Because the present is for both of us, we'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes! <laughs> Peppa and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Competition. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow we will have a pet competition. Ooh. Bring your pets to school. The best pet will win a prize. I'm going to bring my pet goldfish. I'm going to bring my stick insect. I will bring my gecko. I'm going to bring monkey. Ooh, ooh. That's not a real pet. It's a doll. It's not a doll. It's Monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. He likes you, Danny. Zoe can bring Monkey if she wants to. Home time, children. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your pets for the competition tomorrow. It is the evening before the pet competition. Pepper and Susie are getting Goldie the fish ready. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <gasps> <laughs> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <laughs> You do it. <laughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited?
excited about the competition, monkey. <laughs> Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too. Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <laughs> yes, who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <clears throat> Tiddles the tortoise. <gasps> Dr Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. That's not fair! It's your own pet! Oh, no! This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to... Goldie the fish! Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to... The gecko! Hooray! The prize for the pet who looks most like a stick, goes to Stephen. Hooray! The prize for the best monkey... Dr Hamster, he's not a real monkey. He's just pretend. The prize for the best pretend monkey goes to Monkey. Hooray! But Dr Hamster, which is the best pet of all? All of them. They're all happy, healthy pets. They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the holiday. It is the last morning of Peppa's holiday in Italy. I'm just going for one last walk. What? <laughs> going for one last swim, Mr Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. <laughs> I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Peppa. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes, I miss my friends and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Peppa is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <laughs> um... She's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Peppa, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Pepper. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Pepper has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes, I have never felt so relaxed. 
Ah, hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. <laughs> Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take a better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie. But she's flying home now. Flying high in the sky. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done to you? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I've really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho! We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, Goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Sheep has come to play at Peppa's house. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> I've got something to show you. Look. What is it? It's a photograph. Who do you think it is? <gasps> it's a baby sheep. It's me. <laughs> You're not a baby. <laughs> it's an old photo. When I was a baby. Don't be silly, Susie. In the olden days, you were a baby too, Peppa. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Ask your mummy. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. <coughs> mummy? Hello, Peppa. Susie is talking nonsense. No, I'm not. She said in the olden days, I was a baby. <coughs> Well, you were Pepper. Look, here are some photos on the computer. Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Pepper's cousin. No, that's you as a baby Pepper. Baby Pepper. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <laughs> Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles?
adults. No, Peppa. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh. What did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Goo goo gaga goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Pepper. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> And so George was born. <laughs> and Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> then one day you saw something amazing. Monkey Puggle! Pepper, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> you loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo now. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa has always loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's going to cost a lot of money to fix. Oh, dear. Where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump. My mummy. My, 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 my daddy. My daddy. My daddy. My we need my just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Peppa. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, 
Mummy Pig, remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. No, wait, that's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. Oh. Got you. Oh, she's got him. Hooray! My mummy to the rescue. Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig. Oh, Daddy Pig, you're starting to slip. Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job. It'll last for years. I can't hold on. Ah, Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Ho, ho, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> 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 <laughs>